Hi, well it's a fantastic day here on the Gold Coast. Too good an opportunity not to um, show you just the, the surf and um, the conditions. It's about 2.30 and um, we look down to Coolangatta. Just uh, fantastic and then these great uh, life-saving towers that are all numbered up and down. Service Paradise, that one's 29. Which indicates that we're in Broadbeach and we've got the Karawa Surf Club just up that way. Okay, well, um, let's get into today's session. I, um, I wanted to just touch on, on something which leads to a bit of disappointment with a lot of people, and that's... They, they, they trust people too much, and unfortunately, through their, their own good nature, and unfortunately what that leads to is the person that trusts them too much becomes incredibly disappointed when the relationship, whether it be work or personal, unwinds. So an example of this would be someone, in a very simple sense, but someone who has worked for an organisation loyally for 10 years. And, you know, they've got another job offer and they're thinking, should I move, shouldn't I move? I'm worried about moving. I, you know, they won't be able to live, the old organisation won't be able to live without me. And, you know, what will Dave, my boss, think? And am I selling him out, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera. Well, let me tell you what happens half the time. Not half the time. I reckon it's about 90% of the time. The, the res You put the resignation in. Dave goes, yeah, this isn't ideal. Offers you a pay rise to try and keep you after you've already requested one, say, for the last five years, and Dave's gone, oh, maybe next time we'll, we'll look at that, which he failed to do. And then when he realises his back's against the wall, decides to throw the, 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 the financial artillery and incentives at you to try and make his life easier and keep you. It's selfish behaviour on behalf of the hypothetical Dave and the group you're working for. They don't actually give a stuff about you. They're only using you to make your life, their life easier. I've heard of instances where people after 15 years of loyal service have been marched out the door when things have got tough and, and the owners of the business have, have made millions using these, these loyal salespeople. But when suddenly their, their, their profits for the, the coming year don't look as robust as um, they were the, in the previous years, they don't hesitate to cut you, right? And it often comes as a major disappointment to those who are exceptionally loyal. So my, my caveat, my caveat, I mean, they're distressing stories because you, you're giving significant components of your life to whether it's an emotional relationship or a work relationship um, or a whole range of range of things. In fact, I'll, I'll move on to discuss business relationships in another, in another segment. But just be careful, look after yourself. And I think, unfortunately, it means that you have to act in your own best interests at all times chart the course which is going to make you one happy try and embrace concepts such as loyalty uh, and always be professional but be very very careful um, there are a lot of selfish narcissistic uh, operators out there who have got to where they are by just being absolute selfish excuse the phrase but dicks and they won't hesitate to screw you, whether in a relationship or, and it's a bad, bad faux pas, but screw you in a relationship or professionally. So plot the course, think strategically, adhere to the concepts of loyalty, but don't be a slave to it. Furthermore, um, in things like jobs, it's, it's just a job. Your happiness is more important uh, than and your health uh, than anything. And um, 
you'll soon be forgotten uh, as people have an incredible capacity to move on. So unfortunately, trust, perhaps not no one, but trust very few. On that note, as I always say, you've got this, so go get it. Maximise your potential and be good until next time. From the Gold Coast, now that's a positive way to finish. Okay, be good. Bye.